It helps you to manage an estate or administer a town. I'm not worried about that. Trade. What does this one do? Make profit from trading. Operate caravans. Uh, okay, so I'm not really doing any of that. I mean, I, I've bought a few things to sell as profit, but... Uh, leadership? Maintain high morale, um, high morale. Okay, that's probably with a mixture of food and stuff then. Charm. Charm, okay. I seem to have run out of focus on that. Yeah, let's... let's that's why it's gone red on there. Okay. Done. We'll take some charm points. Um, Leadfoot Caster is a gang leader. Screw him then. Cancel. We'll go to the tavern. A willow bark. She's a wanderer. Oh, ransom the prisoners. Can you, set can you set them on fire? I thought you said, can you set prisoners free there? Uh, I don't think you can burn your prisoners to death. I don't think the game is quite that dark. Oh, she's probably the prettiest stranger we've met in a tavern in this game. Tell me about yourself, madam. You know, we women suffer, we women suffer greatly when you warriors have your sport. I lived in a village, in oh, I can't be bothered. Sorry for your fate, my lady. I can use someone like you in my company. 1253. I should maybe have actually Idruna talked to her. I can't be bothered with the little stories. I, I know that's bad of me. But um, companions. Heroes, right? Female. Met before. There we go. That's a nice way of sorting it. She is merciful. And she's got... Uh, oh, she's a medicine person ah I could do that right I should have listened bring up the party who we're chucking out can I do it from here god damn we'll go back to here we can do it from here you can kill noblemen but get uh, you get lots of money if you ransom them oh yes they are worth ransoming and you can kill you can ki you can you can kill some prisoners, can't you? Oh, you mean as in weaponizing them, set them on fire, and make them run into enemy lines? That that's that's pretty brutal. Where did I get that? Oh, the encyclopedia. Press N in game. It's brilliant. You can search for anything. You can track people down. It tells you where they were last seen, so you can you can go find them. That's such a beautiful addition to the game over Warband. Uh, so I'm, I was going to look at my party and leave one behind, I think. So, the Valios the Silent. Where can I see his stats? He's level 18. Frostbeard, he's level 14, but he's my scout. And Ellen the Alone. Uh, she's also a scout. And I've also got... Where is he? Ah, here, the swordsman, who's level 25, so he's supposed to be... I like the way his sword... Look at his scabbard waggles around. He's supposed to be really good. I don't know what this guy does. I can't remember, so I'm going to ditch him. I'm going to have to talk to him, aren't I? How do I talk to him? He's in my clan. Can I... Is this... I, I can ditch them, can I not? Oh, is it from here? Go to the clan screen. Um, there, what are his skills? He's, he's, I mean, he's quite handy in fighting. So, kick from the clan. He'll hate me forevermore. Can I not just leave him somewhere? Because I'd much rather... What if I do that? Well, it's done now, so I thought he'd come up and talk. Because I'm sure in the old game, yeah, in Warband, you could just talk to them and say, um, I need you to leave the party for a while, and uh, you'd run into them somewhere later on, and they they were fine with that. So back to the tavern, we'll talk to... She looks crazy-eyed. I could use someone like you in my company. Here's your cash. So now we have a doctor. 
Or someone with more of a doctor chip than me, anyway. Go to your character bottom left and scroll through companions, and you can see their stats. Ah, of course. Cheers. So who have we just got? We've got this lady, um, who is then maxed up. Uh, I take it they don't get points to spend, they just level up. I'm assuming that's how that works. I have some medicine, but uh, we now have a proper healer. What else is she good with? Not very much. So we want to probably give her something like... We could give her a bow or a crossbow. And then just uh, some melee weapons for protection. Yeah, we'll give her a bow. Put her in the archers. What's her riding like? Not so great. Um, but I probably want all of them to be mounted, don't we? I want inventory for this. Hydruna willow bark. Uh, we have no mounted stuff, but you can have a sumter horse. And we shall. Oh, let's go buy some some weapons back to the town centre. Actually, to the tavern. Yeah, he's still there. I don't know if he'll talk to him anymore, but we don't care. Do you have any bows and arrows? A step bow. Well, that's what we've been using, so... And... But no quivers? <laughs> Hang on a minute. That's crap. So they sell crossbow bolts, but no crossbows. And bows, but no arrows. Curious. We'll have to loot something then. He also had a character name come up as Error. Oh, well, I guess it is a bit uh, a bit of a work in progress still. <laughs> you walked through a town before and one street was blue? Yeah, definitely a work in progress. Um, let's go to... Her. Clan roll. Surgeon. It takes me off the surgeon roll. And we've got... He's got nothing. She's... Fro uh, Frostbeard is the scout, is he? Yeah, Frostbeard's the scout. Good. Okay. Done. So we're good. We're happy with what we've got here. Uh, leave. The hell is that? What is that? Salt. This place produces salt and it's all the way over there. Should we go into uh, foreign parts then? Oh, let's go and... Let's go and check out this castle. Well, this city up here. I don't think I've been there. What have we got? Oh, is that Theobad's? No, that's not Theobad's party. That's not Theobad's party. Who's this? At the head of this. This is Tenopsis's army. Uh, I'll ask you for your name. I'm Theobad, and you are... Tenopsis of the House of uh, Elekes. Though one should not be too proud of one's lineage, I'm glad to say that we have always taken seriously our duty to protect the common folk of the Empire. I am Lord of Amitatis. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrake? I know Adram has some thoughts about it. And he was last seen at Dynastica. Track that. This is such a better way of tracking things. Um, I must leave now then. Thank you. So, Dynastica is this way. So that's, that apparently is where we're going. How far is it? Ooh. Ooh, that's a long way to go. Is... Okay, we'll go, we'll go, we're going to go past uh, this place anyway. Because it's sort of on the way. Uh, who have we got? It's a gang leader. In the tavern? Risa the Spice Vendor. Okay, I want to go and talk to her. A merchant. 
Uh, since by the time among merchants, I suppose you'll hear it anyways, told as a cautionary tale, complete with a great deal of moralizing and tut tutting. My father was a merchant. When he died, he left his children a small inheritance. Most went to my brothers. They headed east to the lands of the Pedishar, leaving me in charge of the interest in Calradia. For me to step into my father's shoes and be treated as an equal by other merchants, I knew I had to make a lot of money in a short time or they would elbow me out of the market. I had an opportunity to buy pepper from another trader who was selling at a discount and needed cash. Of course, I inspected the pepper in its storage. I interviewed the watchman at the warehouse. You can trust us, madam, they said. Rest assured your pepper is in good hands. But one of them kept in Brazil lit at night for the warmth and a camel kicked it into a bed of straw when he was off relieving himself. When he returned, the warehouse was in flames. And so I became penniless. Merchants take risks. I'm sorry it turned out so badly for you. Even now, I feel I made a wise choice to buy the pepper. Wise but unlucky. Such is fortune. I did not seize this opportunity, other merchants would have mocked me, a woman who lacked the daring to succeed in a man's trade. Instead, they mock a rash woman who lacked a man's judgment. And here I am, looking for work. I could use you in my company. Hmm. Do we want... Do we want a merchant, a trader, in the, in the company? I mean, we do. Let's take a look at her home. Let's have a look. Heroes. Met before. Female. She was called Risa, the spice vendor. She's got 100 in trade. I don't know what benefit that is. She can fight a bit as well, if need be. And stewardship. Okay. That would be useful, I think. I'm not that kind of party. Well, not at the moment I'm not, but at some point I'll want to buy a workshop. How do I buy a workshop, by the way? It's true, though, I'm not doing a lot of trading, so it's probably not a great time to pick her up, and I can go and find her later when I want her. I've seen people buying workshops and setting them up. I don't know where the option is. But anyway, apart from the fact that I like the idea of passive income, anything there? N no. Do we have anything to sell? I do have some crap to sell, actually. 54 for butter. That has to be a good price. That has to be good for butter. Let's sell it. And 20 for grain is a good price. Shame I don't have more of it to sell. And I can finally sell those Midlands palfreys at a profit here. Um, we'll keep... No, it's what I brought them for. I brought me to sell, so let's sell. Small profit, but it's a profit. Now, do they actually have... They have step bows and arrows, right? So we want one of those. And one of those. Done. Go to my new... Doctor. Yeah, you, you definitely want to keep out the way of the fighting. And leave. Should be good at running a caravan once you have enough to cash to buy one. Well, we'll pick her up at a later date. I'm heading over to this place now. Um, what's going to be the best route? I mean, I'll, I'll keep an eye and see where he's going, but... What does that mean? What's this little yellow dot mean under here? Does that mean anything? What's this, like, over here? What's this mean under... There's, like, pitchforks under Montos. Have we seen any more? More pitchforks under this village. Not quite sure what it means. Uh, is there anything... Well, if I'm heading over that way, let's take a look at their trade goods. What looks cheap? Nothing looks cheap. Why? Wine looks cheap at 17, surely. Yes, look at that, right? That, ah, now that's showing up as green on there. That is cheap wine. No, it's not. I'm looking at the number, not the value. <laughs> right. I better better get that right. Uh, so that's not so cheap then. 
meat. Yeah, I can buy it Zionica. I can buy it uh, Jalmaris for 21. Coming here is would be uh, good stuff, but everything looks expensive. Olives. Fish. Nothing looks cheap at all. Beer is very expensive. Oil is, unfortunately, fl something must be cheap here. Flax. Cow. Leather. No, this is an expensive place. Leave. Done. Uh, let's see. I'm going to be heading this way. Primary production, iron ore. Primary production, olives. Let's go and try and pick up a few trade goods, if we can. Whilst training people in the art of fighting at the same time. I'm going to forget about these, I think. Buy products. Doing the little missions for villagers and stuff, it gets you some sort of support there, I think, but it's a pain in the ass. Sell it to Ortizia for 73. Uh, I'm just going to take a couple. Actually, the value doesn't seem to change. That's, it will. Ah, trying to sell, it will. I've got to watch that. Leave. So what else have we got out here? Somewhere selling olives? Let's go and, let's go and check the olives place. Buy products. Olives, 26. I don't think that looks good. I don't know whether it's a fair price or not, but uh, we shall move on. We don't know what this place sells. So maybe just visiting villages and stuff gets us a bit of information that comes in useful. Their primary product is... Uh, grain is actually cheapish here. I always have a lot of grain. The one thing I always seem to be able to loot quite well. Product, grain, product, grain. We'll head that way. Not f oh, hang on, we've got a hideout. A lot of mountain bandits. All right, this is going to be dangerous. Let's go and have a fight, though. I mean, actually, do I, do I really want to try and... Storm of hideout of 21 mountain bandits. I think that will, will that be certain death? Because I can only bring a few folks with us. Is there not? Um... Let's wait. Some of them are going to come out eventually, right? If I can pick them off when they leave. We'll try that. Hey, Ed, how's it going? <laughs> Ulysses. That should be a new name for me. Maybe quite fitting with this. I don't think they're reducing. Shall I, shall I risk it? That's a lot to kill. Let's try it. I'm feeling bold. I mean, it could be a fantastic haul of loot. Well, four have left. Okay, wish me luck, folks. Wish me luck. I just fired one of my best fighters. Not one of my best fighters. He was an okay fighter. Reckon I've got this. We'll see. How are things going for me today? They're going good, thanks. It's been quite a good chilled Easter Monday. Archers, do your work. That was a bit low. Oh, it landed, though. Get him, get him, get him. Put him in there. The ranged guys. Kill him. Two down. Lots to go. Oh, have I got a mace for this? Hang on. About there. What a shot. Get in there. Headshot. 
Damn it, we lost we lost my expert swordsman. I'm gonna have to get him some better armor, he's terrible. Here we go, this is gonna be a, a nasty fight, isn't it? Oh, chuck that down there. Missed! Charge, charge before we get stoned and killed. Can't hit anyone with this damn mace. Right, connected. Bosh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I might use the spear instead. So far, so good. It'll be in the, the, the potential duel at the end. Where we throw the mace. I wish you could. Oh, I can probably swap the mace, though, can't I? Get him. Get him. That worked out well. What's he got? Falchion? Right, I'll take that instead of this mace. If my people will just kindly... Uh, F. Swap with Harpoon. Hold F. Um, I want to swap... Oh, there it is. Replace with Spiked Mace. Nice. Uh, Falchion swings a bit better. We've got trouble coming in here. We have. Stab, stab, stab. Just get him. Get him, folks. Go for the, go for the face. Ooh. Gotta be careful. I need, to, I need to save my health for the inevitable duel at the end. We're killing him, so it's going well. Hang on. Don't go too far ahead. We've got um, at least one more bunch to kill, I think. I don't see anyone over there. We're not exactly sneaking in. We're running down the river. Oh, this is it. Just charge in now. They're throwing stones at us. <laughs> that was a bloody net there. Who put a fence up? Nevig Frostbeard. He's my, he's my scout. Okay. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna duel them. Here we go. Very well. Ow! Ha ha! You can't see where I'm coming from. This is such a cheesy way of winning these fights. Well, I'll take what I can get. It's also quite fun. We've won, right? Victory. Who did we lose? We lost two. A trained archer. And okay, that's not too bad. The amount of kills we got there. And there should be some very nice loot. Please? There was a lot of them. Yes, western javelins. Uh, oh, damn, they're not as good as mine. I hope to be something better. We've got a makeshift kite shield. We know, actually, that's good for the doctor. Highland shoulder fur. Body arm knight. Will that go to me? Please. What have I got? I've got uh, body armor 13. No, my Highland furred cloak is better. Guarded arm wraps. Sleeveless studded arm. There is some good armored baggy trunks. Well, I was right. There is some good stuff here. It's not particularly good for me. Uh, let's get rid of this so we can see what we're looking at. So, Mr. Swordsman. Yeah, you, you definitely want that. And what else? Mm, I thought that might have been better. Guarded arm wraps. Buttoned leather. Nope, no, he's actually quite well kitted out. As are you. Ah, oh, there you go. Have some of those. And... Nice. You can have a cloak. 
Not that he's supposed to be getting into combat. Anything here? Wrap shoes. They're okay. And it's going to be the doctor then. Yep. Replace this rubbish stuff. The arm wraps. She's actually got better arm wraps. Well, that's an improvement on there. Looking a bit less doctor-like all of a sudden. Done. Leave. I didn't see what... Um, your relation has increased by two. By with nearby people. I didn't see what renown I earned for that. Another hideout? Has that just popped back up? Come on, we're going to do that straight away. Hey, Draugr and Trollsium. Welcome back, folks. Oh, did I keep the... I didn't see what weapon. I didn't see if I kept the mace or kept the falchion that I picked up. It doesn't really matter either way. Did I not pick up all the rest of that loot? I intended to pick it up. I have... Ah, I bet I forgot. I bet I forgot just to go back and click the button at the top to loot all. Damn. Yeah, that that was my intention. Yeah, and it looks like I do have the mace back. Okay, let's go and play with the javelins again, because they're so good. Well, either you missed it or I missed it, but mistakes were made. <laughs> Javelin! Oh, over the top. And again, okay. In his shield, I want to get him. Shame we can't pick those back up. You're not the most observant of people. Join the club. <laughs> I'm certainly not. Not when I'm playing these games. But I have done that before. I know when I finished, I thought I finished looting something at the end of the battle. And then because I've been going through checking the stats, I've, I've not bothered. I've not actually... Can I pick those up? No, they're just for decoration. Not the chair. There's some swords leaning on it. Also, it's a shame you can only attack these things at night and you're fighting in the dark. It'd be great just to go charging in the daytime. I think we've, we're going to have to just go and get in the employ of some lords and fight some battles because um, churning through these hideouts as well as it pays... It's a slow process, isn't it? Charging down on foot, doing the same repetitive journey. I wish we could pick up the chair and use it as a battering ram. It'd be awesome. Just go for it, fellas. Go for it. I hit him with the mace. Excellent. What's he got? Can't see. They're getting a bit ahead of themselves now. Set the chair on fire and throw it. If only. Pick up one of these tree trunks. Oh, someone making a stew there. I've got to say, it's a bit tiresome fighting the exact same flipping map on every hideout. Clone. Toshed him over the back of the head. Go on then, I'm going to try and duel him with the mace. This should be fun. Uh, very well. I shall take you on, sir. Ow! Come on! Go on then, you ask for it. Oh, we're going to capture him with this, aren't we? Yeah, he's gone down. Mr. Mountain Man. He hits quite hard. Intend to make a character who fights predominantly with shield and spear. It's the worst combination in the game, but you love it anyway on foot. That will be quite hard. Do they make Kingdom Come Deliverance beans in orange stew there? That was that was the same. How do they get it orange then in Kingdom Come Deliverance? It must be um, some spice. What would make it orange? Paprika? Would they have that? They would have that, would they? They'd trade with it, with it from the east. Because you couldn't put tomatoes in it. It didn't have tomatoes at that time. What would make it orange? Lots and lots of carrots. Where did carrots come from? No, I don't think carrots were popular back then, were they? I know in the UK they weren't. Beets? Uh, I suppose some beets would be. 
Um, yeah, we've got the boss anyway. Alright, so it looks like I need to re um, build up some soldiers. Nice, we've got an Imperial Charger. And tough, rough-tied boots. 